Reddit ask me anything. I'm infected with coronavirus. On day 5 since I contracted. I live in Madrid. That's on soft quarantine but nobody respects it. Our health system is collapsing. Ask me anything. We know the exact day and time we got it because the person who tested positive had the organization send us a missive. We contracted it on Friday around 1400 hours. My husband and son seem pretty asymptomatic. Though my husband has been having headaches. I have had a fever and throat ache. Along with an insistent dry cough. My 2 years old toddler had a 1 day super low fever and that's it. We self quarantined immediately upon receiving the news on Tuesday. I started having symptoms on Monday. But thought it was just allergies flu. We tried to alert the government ASAP but all emergency lines were collapsed. We got hold of a person after waiting for 4 hours on hold. It was at 3 am when they answered. They told us to self isolate and that they were collapsed. Since I'm having symptoms and they have a case number of the person who tested positive they are assuming we're all positive. They told us to not go to a hospital even if we get worse. To just call for an ambulance. But that's a 4 hour waiting on hold kind of thing. Anyway. We're home. We got supplies. I've had a flu that became bronchitis last year. And this feels eerily similar. Anyway. Ask me anything. I went through something similar though albeit we still don't know if it was corona because the UK government is ridiculous on who gets to be tested. But one good advice I've received from doctors who tried to help is. Call your emergency service line if you start getting breathless. Don't bother with the coronavirus number and just dial the emergency number. I hope that helps. It's all collapsed. They aren't even taking regular calls. Woman face palming. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your family is okay, and not having any severe symptoms. We're okay thank you. I mean they say we're all gonna catch it at some point. Yup, it's just being delayed. Can't really avoid it at this rate. But delaying it helps the healthcare. I wish people would take it more seriously. Here in Spain they are collapsed and can't even attend emergencies. What advice would you give to us Americans? From seeing what people are saying on Twitter. A ridiculous amount of people are underestimating this. Media is hyping it up media is overreacting it's not as bad as the flu. The flu kills more etc. I think those people are forgetting how early this virus began. And how fast it's spreading. Seems like panic is really good. But bad at the same time. Good because people will take it seriously. Stay away from crowded areas etc. But bad because now because are wiping our shelves. 500 rolls of toilet paper for one small family. One small family hoarding 200 masks. Hoarding liters of hand sanitizer. I live in Italy and the media isn't overreacting. My whole country is quarantined. Until the 3rd of April. Because people keep getting sick and hospitals have not enough beds for them. Doctors and nurses are working 18h shifts and they're not enough so they started to get nurses from college. In my city Rome. The peak is expected to be in 6 days. You could start buying some food and try to avoid crowded places. Here they are not closing supermarkets so there's plenty of food. It's real. Masks won't save you. But save other people from infection. Our emergency lines are collapsed. Our hospitals are collapsed. They aren't coming to test us. We just gonna ride it out. They are assuming we have it because of the contact. It's pretty scary. I'd feel much safer if I lived in the country. And also everything the Italian person that replied said. I agree and disagree with this comment. For a few reasons. I want to agree with the fact that they're underestimating it. I want to disagree with why. However, I don't believe they're underestimating it because of the media's hype. Which is justified. I believe they're underestimating it due to their ignorance on the matter. They haven't taken the time to look at actual reports data charts and that is why it's so serious to be brutally blunt the common person regardless of life experience or age is a blithering idiot now don't get me wrong i don't like calling people stupid i'm not even saying i'm above the common person because i'm right there with them i do my research i try not to panic but i'm still a blithering idiot just like everyone else it's hard to admit that but it's true but still, we have no vaccine yet. Everyone who hasn't been infected doesn't have any tolerance for the virus at all. People who have been infected once, recovered, and infected a second time will have an extremely small, infinitesimal tolerance starting to build. 
but not enough to make any difference. The symptoms of COVID-19 are similar to that of the flu, but there are differences. With COVID-19 the symptoms appear slower, probably because of the naturally longer incubation period, no one having much of a tolerance for it yet, and the fact that we don't have a vaccine since it is a sickness caused by a new virus. In time, COVID-19 will likely be a name tossed around, or maybe something more catchy. I wish there was some better wording for that last sentence. Slower like the flu is once people have a tolerance and there are vaccines in circulation each year for influenza the fever shows after an average incubation period of two days most people have gotten influenza before and probably a flu shot or a flu mist that shortens the incubation period once coronavirus has been around for a little while meaning about five years after a vaccine is developed at bare minimum I'm sure the incubation period for COVID-19 will start to get shorter and shorter. Coronavirus is prone to causing more severe symptoms than influenza does. The younger and healthier you are, the more likely and more quickly you are to recover from COVID-19. Now, for those that don't know, coronavirus is the name of the actual virus, and COVID-19 is the name that has been given to the actual sickness that it causes. Just like influenza is the name of the virus that causes the flu. Now my advice to all of my fellow common folk, educate yourselves about the virus. I got all of this information just by going online to look at data and information gathered on actual medical websites with certified doctors. Exactly, the media is causing people to become extremely selfish with their hoarding of unnecessary supplies. Today I was at the grocery store and witnessed people buying 5-10 packs of 20 roll packs of toilet paper. The store sold out of them within the 10 minutes that they put them out. I understand people wanting to stay inside not get sick but seriously the greed is real. We were just low on toilet paper and needed some. There's none in town. We are in Idaho, US. One of the few states that doesn't have it. It's going to be even crazier once news hits that people here have it. If you were to run out of supplies, how would you restock? Because I'm assuming you don't want to leave her home. Amazon still works and we have options out of town in the country. How old are you and your husband? I'm 31 and he's 36. You're probably gonna be safe then. How much TP do you have want? LOL I bulk buy once a month on Amazon. I'm good. What are you feeling right now? Is it scary to get infected by coronavirus? It's a bit scary. No real answers or medical support. Your chest feels heavy. Idea no it's shitty. Also all our emergency lines have collapsed. There's nobody coming to save me if this gets worse. Are you wheezing? Not so far. If you do start wheezing, try to keep drinking hot caffeinated beverages. I have asthma and that's what I've tried to do when I didn't have an inhaler. I have salbutamol inhaler from last year when I had bronchitis, and I also drink a ridiculous amount of coffee. Thanks for the tips. How long did it take for your services to collapse once local people started testing positive? On Tuesday it took me 4 hours to get hold of medical emergency, on Wednesday it took us 6 hours. We only called because the symptoms really hit. They said to take paracetamol and not leave the house. Today, all phone lines are collapsed including 112, 911 for Americans. So, if you cut your arm off, or there's a crime, good luck. What do you mean by collapse? Like if you dial 911, or whatever the equivalent is in Spain, are you not getting through to someone? I dialed our 911 and got a busy signal, so I quit adding to that, but I tried all other lines too, including police. It's pretty scary, so I'm looking to hide out in the countryside once we recover. Sending good wishes for you and your family for good health and a speedy recovery. I am by no means a doctor, but I am 40 years old and have been living with chronic severe asthma since age 3 and have spent many weeks in the hospital with flu and cold and one time had pneumonia. It seems like you and your family have crossed the danger threshold and are on the way to recovery. But if you find that you or someone else starts to take a turn for the worse, and since the health system is overwhelmed and useless these are some things I've learned you can do at home. I would look at going on Amazon and ordering oxygen. If your lungs do get compromised, this will help get much needed oxygen in your blood and to your organs when the lungs are having a hard time performing its job. 
Also you can also order rehydration tablets and salts from Amazon too. While it's not an IV drip from the hospital, it is a decent alternative you can take at home. Or another good way to stay hydrated is from Pedialyte or Gatorade. Just anything that will replace the valuable electrolytes you need. Hoping for all the best as you, your family, your country and the world go through this epidemic. Great advice thank you. I wish you all the best too. I've had asthma attacks due to extreme pollen allergy a few times. It's pretty scary. I hope you stay safe and avoid everyone. I never thought I'd catch it. Woman face palming. Is anyone in your house a smoker or do they have respiratory issues? I smoke. Woman face palming. If you can. Try not to smoke. Smoking can aggravate coronaviruses. And COVID-19 has been shown to follow this too. It can weaken your immune system and respiratory system. And make you more susceptible to complications. Uds is more common with these types of things when you smoke. Don't go cold turkey if you feel you can't. NRT is crucial for men and can make sure you don't get nicotine withdrawal symptoms if you choose to not smoke during this. I hope I'm not coming off as rude or anything. I just want you to stay safe. OP. Thank you I appreciate it. I'm actually too scared to smoke. How long did it take for you to start feeling symptoms? We were in contact on Friday from 2-3pm. I started feeling weird and got a fever on Monday night. The kid on Tuesday afternoon, but he just had a really low fever. I did too on Tuesday. What's it do to you emotionally? I'm pretty anxious. I want it to be over. I want my 2 years old to be over it ASAP. I'm worried about emergency phones that are collapsed. I feel abandoned and not protected by the system. I want to get better ASAP to run into the countryside and hide from people. I wanna get supplies. We'll have shortages. How would you compare this to the cold flu? It's like a flu with bronchitis. Like a hot shit here and even though symptoms are similar I can see how this could go super sour really quick. I'm praying the worst is over. And for all the sick people out there. Damn. Reading everything you described. I actually have the virus. I have all of the same symptoms. Heavy chest. Dry cough. Irritated throat. Slight fever. Crazy. What are your symptoms right now? I feel like I am on the same curve. I had a fever yesterday and now I've started the cough. Like a lump in my throat. Yet that dry cough. Now I'm just having hard time breathing deeply. Sort of like bronchitis. But it was worse this morning. Tonight I'm better. I'm hoping this is it. I am really scared by the disease. How many degrees were your fever and the dry cough brought back pain or something similar? It's serious. But don't be afraid if you're healthy. Fever was mild for me. Only 38 degrees so barely a fever. The coughing strangely enough wasn't painful. Did you have snot? Not a lot. Just some greenish bit once from coughing so much. I am in Bucharest and it's just under 100 cases in our country. But we know 40k Romanians just arrived from Italy. I self isolated for few days now and I am beginning to feel a little insecure. My family is in a smaller town 300 kilometers away. I don't know what to do. Do you think it would be safer go stay with my family at countryside for a while? More isolated. Or stay where I am? Big city? I am sure our health system won't be working after 300 patients and it is why I really want to avoid getting the virus and be safe. Depends on how healthy and young you are. And if you've been around people, you could show no symptoms and carry it. You could end up bringing it to your family. Here the elderly are dying at a scary rate. Which would you say feels worse in general? The flu or the coronavirus? Look, last year I've had bronchitis and meningitis. Like I've had enough shit. LOL. The headaches are child's play compared to meningitis. And the lung coughing hard time breathing is so far comparable to bronchitis. Though not as bad as my worst day with bronchitis. I'm hoping. I'm still on day 6 now. I'm hoping it's over. Are things like delivery available? Wouldn't the delivery people be scared? Oh man delivery people are freaking out. I put a sign on my door saying we have it. To just leave the stuff and go. There's also courtesy hand sanitizer by the door. Delivery works sort of. Amazon is a beast. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. 
Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.